To pre-treat a shirt using the Viper XPT 6000, you'll place the shirt on the platen with the collar up towards you. Leave a little bit of the collar on the edge of the platen. To adjust your settings on the Viper XPT 6000 for the desired amount of pre-treatment solution and desired coverage area, you'll use the control panel. Here we can adjust where the pretreatment will be placed on the shirt from top to bottom. Simply press the number key there and enter in the coverage area. If I change it to a value of 10, you can see on the display it shows where the pretreatment solution will be applied. Since we are doing full shirts, I will set it back to 19. To adjust the zone coverage, you'll press the zone button and then turn on or off nozzles in the screen. The nozzles are numbered 1 through 6 corresponding from the left side of the machine to the right. If I wanted to do a left chest application, I would turn off 4, 5, and 6 and only the nozzles on the left side of the machine would fire during the next process. I could go back to the control panel and change the height to correspond with the desired coverage area for the left chest. This would reduce the amount of pretreatment solution used on the shirt and ensure a higher savings for the user. To control the amount of fluid laydown, you press this area here and can enter in the amount you want. This will vary depending on the shirt you are working with and testing you will need to do to find out how much pretreatment solution is appropriate. For most shirts, we found a value of 40 to 50 has been appropriate. We'll use 45 here. Once you have your desired settings on the control panel, press the green button. The shirt will retract and pretreatment will be applied. Once the pretreatment application is complete, use a roller or a paintbrush to gently roll everything in the same direction to lay down the fibers on the shirt. Heat press the shirt to cure it. Cover the shirt with craft paper and heat press at 350 degrees at a high pressure, 80 psi or above, for 60 seconds. Since the pretreatment solution is a salt-based chemical, you want to ensure that your upper platen has a cover to prevent any of those fumes from coming up into the platen area, which could lead to corrosion. If after the 60 seconds the, the shirt is still damp or there's a lot of steam coming from it, heat press for another 20 seconds. Do this until all moisture has been cured from the garment. Once all moisture has been cured from the garment, the t-shirt is now ready for printing.